Okay, so this video is for the flat earthers that seem to believe that the horizon should not be flat from low altitudes. So since this needs to be explained, this is a flat surface. If you look, you'll notice that in the middle, it's about 3 centimeters, 3.3 centimeters actually, is how high the camera is above this uh, surface. Flip it this way. You'll see that it's about 2.3 centimeters. Now, above this 55 centimeter balloon, or sorry, not balloon, but some sphere, um, above this 55 centimeter sphere, that would correspond to, in this view, 476 miles above the Earth. So let's take a look at this view. That's how curved the horizon looks from 476 miles. Now I'm going to zoom in. Just focus. Alright. That is zoomed in four times from 476 miles. Now another thing is the curvature of the horizon also depends on the field of view. When I zoom in, the field of view drops. It gets smaller. And so the horizon looks more flat. So even from up here, zoomed in four times, this horizon looks pretty much just as curved as it does in the Dwayne Kellum videos. Which is from, I don't remember, 20-something miles up, I guess. Now I'm going to switch to the other view. Remember, this is 2.3 centimeters up, which means it's the same as 330 miles on this sphere. Notice already that the that in this much, not only is it a little bit shorter, um, but also the field of view is much smaller. So already, before I even zoom in, the horizon already looks barely curved, just a little bit more curved than Dwayne Kellum's videos, right? Now if I zoom in four times, it looks pretty much flat. From 330 miles high higher than the ISS. Just zooming in four times and the horizon is perfectly flat. Or almost perfectly flat. Okay. So for those who wonder why they see a flat horizon, there you go. Try actually calculating things, rather than just assuming that, that it proves that the globe is wrong, even though you didn't, never even checked how curved the horizon really should be.